Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you the way in that the smoothness is going to be working in Blender 4, most of all in what it's related to geometry nodes, because it's going to be a little bit different. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is that we're going to be understanding the way it is to work in Blender 3.6 and before that. Okay, so the problem in Blender 3.6 is that we don't have control over the information we're using. Let's just go ahead and say that we create some new node, some is shade smooth node and some some set shade smooth node okay and we just connect it here and now we go ahead and say like okay so we're providing this information because we want to know like if the shade is smooth then this is gonna be a smooth in the object of course we don't have like anything set to smooth so we just have an object that is sharp all over okay but what happens if I an example go ahead and just click here and then say like face and then shade smooth. We can see, of course, we need uh, a little bit more. So we can use this and then shade smooth. And we can see that now we have some smoother edges, of course, we have some smoother faces. But what happens if in example, I go ahead and I said like, okay, I want these edges, in example, to be like sharp. So I mark them as sharp. You are not going to be able to see any difference. And that's the problem that we don't see any difference with we mark an edge as sharp. So we're losing that information and that is a problem. We only have the information of the faces. So if we go ahead and set all the faces to smooth or if we uh, on the contrary set like the edges as I mean, we cannot set them as smooth, first of all. So we just have to set them as sharp, right? Make those same faces smooth, right? We can see that we lost the information. We don't have the information of the sharp edges and that it's a problem. And that's the reason why it needed to be separated. And that's the reason why it's gonna be separated in Blender 4. So let's jump to Blender 4 so you can see what I'm trying to explain here. Okay, so in Blender 4, the first thing we need to understand is that we're going to have like something different. Okay, we have a new node that it's called is edge smooth and we have another node that it's called is face smooth. We now have different types of information to use. Okay, so as you can see, if we go ahead and click on edit mode, we have this separation. I made the same type of separation that I made in the other version of the program. And here we can see that we can use like the information of the sharp edges. So if we click an edge and mark sharp, we have that information. Okay. And here we can see it. Here we can see the edges that are sharp, you know, so if we change that in edit mode, I know we say like now we just don't want those edges to be sharp. We want them to be smooth. So we go to edge and then clear sharp and then we can see the changes okay and we can see the changes in the spreadsheet too and that's the important thing that we now have that information we can use that information for our benefit okay and that's what is going on here what is happening too is that if we just change to edge of course there's going to be like some sort of difference and of course if we try to make any changes here we see that nothing is going on like apparently because we're not using this information we're not using the information of the edges we can use it here in the face but in the spreadsheet we can see the changes okay and that's it so here we have like some sort of second example in that we are actually using the information that we have from the edges and in the set shade smooth in where we can see that information. So what's happening here is that I'm basically setting the smoothness in some specific edges, okay? And we can see here, we're gonna be able to see here in the spreadsheet that this is gonna be disappearing, okay? So all of the edges are gonna be turning into smooth edges as we go further and you can see it here. So this is basically what it's going on. Of course, still, we if we go to face, we can see the changes, okay? 
if we stay in edge, we cannot see the changes because we're basically dealing with phases. That's what we can see, the sharpness of the phases. Here we have like the phase example. It is basically the same, but we don't see like the information here in the edges, but we see the information in the faces. So this is the information of the sharp faces. So the reason why this is useful is because now you have a little bit more of control on what do you want to use. You can use the smoothness of the edge for some purposes and the smoothness of the face for some purposes because in the edit mode there are different things. So thank you for watching this video. Just let me know where you're going to be using these notes for and yeah, see you next time.